here. We made it to fabulous Las Vegas. What better way to welcome all of our Bay Area fans on the morning show than to come to this iconic sign on the National Register of Historic Places. It had to be the first stop, right? So tons of people here taking selfies. We have been in Las Vegas just under 24 hours. It's our first full morning here. Yesterday afternoon and late into the evening, the Super Bowl experience opened at Mandalay Bay. And take a look at who kicked things off. Are you ready for the delivery of the Vince Lombardi Trophy? None other than NFL Hall of Famer Jerry Rice. He got the crowd excited as he put on a pair of white gloves and held the Vince Lombardi Trophy. This trophy was delivered by a local FedEx courier. He then handed it off to Rice, who took it up to the stage. And it is the official trophy that the winning team will hoist on Super Bowl Sunday. You know, if you look at it, it's very shiny and pristine. That's because it's made of sterling silver. That's why Rice had to wear those gloves. And with that, it was the opening kick off to the Super Bowl experience at Mandalay Bay. I got a chance to ask Rice what it meant for him to deliver the trophy and maybe send some good vibes to the Niners on Sunday. You know what, guys? I'm going to be honest with you. It's not about me. It's about those players right now. And, you know, it's always, I have this connection with the fans and, and I always enjoy giving back. And that's the reason why I'm here, because to show my support. But it's all about those guys going out there playing together, brick by brick, one heartbeat, and, and we're in Super Bowl today. Very humble. So this is the trophy that is the main attraction at the Super Bowl experience. A lot of people were lined up yesterday night waiting to get up close and personal with this iconic trophy. And there's really no shortage of photo opportunities at this experience. From the Super Bowl 58 sign to the bling of all 57 prior Super Bowl rings. There's also a locker room section. There's one player represented from each team. Of course, George Kittle was a fan favorite among a lot of Niners fans that are here. And the gear is on display. As we said, we also met a couple from Hayward, Claudia and Steve Wisely. They do not have tickets to the Super Bowl, but they just wanted to fly in for the experience. It's good so far. Um, we're just here having a good time. I, I like the experience. I like all the exhibits they have for the kids. It seems like they're having a good time. It was easy, accessible. It was good to get here from the strip. Um, it wasn't that hard to get in. The tickets was cool. And I've, I've taken many pictures. I've actually seen some of the media that I'm fond of. So I, I had a blast here. Yeah, it's so much fun. Okay, so we said, well, when are you flying home? And right now they're going back on Saturday. But they also said, hey, it's Vegas. Anything can happen. And if they end up somehow getting tickets to the Super Bowl, then they would plan on being there. So good luck to them. We've seen a lot of people from the Bay Area, actually, and so many people just playing tourist as well. And it's really cool to see people coming up, taking their selfies here at the iconic sign or walking along the Strip. And hopefully we can get to do a little bit more of that later on today. Um, and coming up at 930, we'll also show you some of the interactive experience is there at the NFL experience. It's really fun overall. And guys, I got to say, the Niners fans here are dominating. Very little Chiefs fans, a lot of Niners fans. Nice. StubHub did uh, have some calculations nice. that said that 49ers fans are definitely going to number the Chiefs fans. That's looking good. Hopefully the 49ers see that. Uh, Christina, where the Las Vegas sign is now is a little further up from the, the normal part of the strip that we know. Have you made your way up and down that, that section? And what does it look like? How crowded is it? I know in that area there were residents, yeah. but further down is where all the tourists are, where all the hotels are. Yeah, we haven't made it too far down the strip yet. So yesterday when we got in, went straight to our hotel, went to go get our media credentials, and we really only stayed in the section near Allegiant Stadium. So we saw Mandalay Bay, the Luxor, and the Excalibur. That was kind of our only three section of the, the little three hotels on our section of the strip where we got to experience anything. Today, I'm going to try to make it further down to the center where they have the iconic Bellagio and Caesars Palace and Paris and possibly check out the Sphere. Um, but all of this is very, very uh, you know, normal to people who live here. There are some locals who say, you know, we never really come to the Strip, but it's nice to have the Niners in our backyard. We're fans. So it's really cool to see the difference. Like, locals don't really get excited with all of the hoopla here, but there are Niners fans here. And in terms of the fans, they are loving all of the experience. Once we get a better idea of walking the entire Strip and our feet don't kill us, we'll, we'll let <laughs> yeah. you know how it is. Yep. It's all about sensible shoes. Yes. Um, I have to ask you real quick. I know that Allegiant Stadium is a domed stadium, so, like, the weather really doesn't matter in that mm -hmm. sense. But whether it does matter for all this run up to the big game. Looks mm -hmm. like it's clear, but maybe cold right now in yeah. Las Vegas. 
Yeah, it is cold, right? I've only ever visited during the summer months when it's blistering yes. hot. It's very cold. We have to have um, long socks on in our coats. And last night we were freezing as well, just walking from one place to another. It is pretty, pretty chilly. Um, and we do know that the players are practicing, I believe, inside a facility, uh, at least for the Chiefs. And UNLV is a site for the Niners. So, yes, yeah. very chilly. And hopefully that won't be an issue on game day because it is inside that enclosed stadium. But it is pretty chilly out here. All right, Christina. It's so good to see you. Yes. We'll bring you back at 9. Thank you. <laughs>